So by now you've heard that if we have standard form of a quadratic equation, we know that the x-coordinate of the vertex is at negative b over 2a. But how do we know that? How do we know that we can just take b and put it over 2 times a, make it negative, and that's the x-coordinate? Well, that comes from changing this into vertex form. So let's do that right now. In order to do that, we're going to have to complete the square. So first things first with completing the square is subtracting over your um, constant term here. So subtract that over, and we're left with ax squared plus bx. And then we're going to have to factor out this a because we need uh, x squared's coefficient to be 1. So factor out this a, divide everything by a, plus b over a, x, leave a little space, because here's where I'm going to complete the square. So how do I complete the square here? Well, I need to take b, the, my b term, which is now b over a, and half of it. So I need half of my b term b over a, that is b over 2a, and then half of that b term squared, that is b over 2a squared. And that will equal, uh, when I square everything, that will be b squared over 2, or excuse me, 4a squared. I have to square everything here. So I just rewrote that right there for us in the same color so that we're not getting confused. If we just add this in here, I just made this up, right? I didn't have this originally and then I just added it in. So if I add that into one side, I have to add that to the other side as well. That's how equations work. I need this to stay balanced. So can I just add b squared over 4a squared to this side since I added that over here. Well not really because you have to remember that this is going to be um, when I distribute this, this a that I factored out, it's going to multiply by a and that's going to cancel out one of the a's on the bottom. So I'm actually going to add b squared over 4a on the left side since one of those a's is actually not there since I'm multiplying by a on this side. Okay, so now we've completed the square over here so we can turn it into a square. We know that this trinomial will now be the binomial square of x plus half of b, which we know is b over 2a, squared and that equals this over here but we want that to equal y so what do we have to do we just have to add this c and subtract this b squared over 4a so we've got a plus c minus b squared over 4a over here so if we look at this this is vertex form now we have y equals a x minus h squared plus k. The k term is this whole thing right here. Whatever that happens to be will be your k term. That will be the um, y coordinate of your vertex. So if we look, we can see since we know that our vertex is the opposite of h, k, then we know that our vertex here, the opposite of positive b over 2a will be negative b over 2a. So that's the important part. If you wanted to go a step further, you could. k will always be negative minus or c minus b squared over 4a.
And that's where this little formula comes from, negative b over 2a from standard form. It comes from completing the square to get to vertex form and taking the opposite of h. Okay, here's the vertex.